back to bioschool with another session of population growth that is exponential population growth with solved previous year csir net question so what is exponential growth if the natural resources are available on limited amount in the environment then this lead to the accelerating pattern of population growth okay so that accelerating pattern of increasing population size is called as the exponential growth if population growth is plotted over the time then it leads to the j shaped growth curve okay so exponential growth it forms the j shaped growth curve here in the graph is you can see in the x axis there is the generation time or the time and in the y axis there is the population size so at the initial stage the growth is slow due to the small population size that we can call as the lag phase but gradually the growth is accelerating that lead to the exponential phase and it looks like uh, the j so exponential growth it form the j shaped curve and this type of exponential growth we will find in continuous breeders in the exponential growth population we will observe individuals of different age groups but we know that in the real world the resources are limited lowering the growth rate therefore growth rate of a population it is calculated by subtracting the death rate from birth rate we can write it in mathematically as dn divided by dt equal to birth rate minus death rate okay dn by dt equal to b minus d where dn is the change in number dt is the change in time b is the birth rate and d is the death rate the birth rate usually expressed on per capita okay that is per individual basis so the birth rate b we can write per capita birth rate b is multiplied by the number of individual similarly the death rate we can write as dn that is the per capita death rate multiplied by number of individual n so now the formula will be dn by dt equal to the birth rate is uh, now replaced by the birth rate multiplied by number of individual that is the small b multiplied by n minus the death rate is also replaced by death rate multiplied by number of individual dn so d now that dn by dt equal to b minus d multiplied by n the difference between the birth and the death rate is further simplified by substituting the term r we know that r is the intrinsic rate of increase or per capita growth rate so the now the r equal to b minus d by putting the value of r in the equation now the equation will be dn by dt equal to r n where the dn is the change in number dt is the change in time and r is the intrinsic rate of increase and n is the number of individual if the value of r is less than 0 then the population size decreases if r equal to 0 then population remain constant that is in equilibrium phase if the value of r is greater than 0 then the population size is increasing okay an individual can reproduce more rapidly and have a higher intrinsic rate of growth the maximal rate of growth of a species that is the biotic potential is r max okay so now the equation will be dn by dt equal to r max n r max is the biotic potential or maximum growth rate of the population okay now we can rewrite the equation to find the population size at various time okay so the population size at time t at the population size at time t that is the nt nt equal to n0 e to the power rt okay this one is the important nt equal to n0 e to the power rt where you know that nt is the population size at time t n0 is the population size now e is the base of natural logarithm r is the per capita growth rate or intrinsic rate of growth and t is the number of time interval okay so the exponential growth has two formula one is the dn by dt equal to rn and the second one is the nt equal to n0 e to the power r 
we can simplify this formula that is the nt equal to n0 ERT as nt divided by n0 equal to ERT okay take the natural log of both the sides to get rid of e if we will take the natural logarithm then what we will get ln nt minus ln n0 equal to RT now R equal to ln nt minus ln n0 divided by t okay so the population size now is given and the, the population size at uh, time t is given and uh, the question is asking you about to calculate the intrinsic rate of growth or per capita growth rate of population and then you can calculate by putting the formula r equal to ln nt minus ln n0 divided by t okay so now what is the geometric growth exponential growth describes the population for continuous breeders while the geometric growth it describes the population growth for the periodic breeders periodic breeders like uh, those who reproduce once a year okay like a particular period interval so geometric growth and exponential growth are described by slight different mathematical formula but both the geometric growth and the exponential growth um, if we if we plot the population growth plot then we will get the j set population growth curve so what is the formula for the geometric growth rate of population is uh, slightly different from that of the exponential growth the formula is nt plus 1 equal to r0 nt so where nt is the population size of female at generation t nt plus 1 is the population size of female at generation time t plus 1 and r0 is the net reproductive rate if you don't know what is the net reproductive rate i have video on net reproductive rate and given the link in the description box okay so please do watch so we can rewrite the formula like a nt plus 1 equal to r0 nt as nt equal to n0 multiplied by r0 to power t where t is the number of generation n0 is the number of population or the number of females currently present in the population okay so now comes to the previous year csir ugc net question in the following equations okay there are some equations given like four equations exponential population growth is described by what are the equation for exponential population growth we know that dn by dt equal to rn and another equation is that if we are going to calculate the population size uh, at a different time period then what will be the equation the equation will be nt equal to n0 e to the power rt okay so the correct answer is p and q the option a is the correct answer the next question the general relation between generation time t and population growth rate okay population growth rate that is r is described by the equation okay this equation it is given in the ln form we know that the formula is nt equal to n0 e to the power rt if we take log on both the side then what will be the equation equation will be ln r equal to ln a minus b ln t is the correct answer the question number three for a population growing exponentially with a growth rate r okay the population is growing exponentially with growth rate r its population doubling time is asking the population doubling time so what is the form, formula for the exponential growth of population here is the nt equal to n0 e to the power rt but now what is say that is population is doubling time like nt equal to 2n0 because it's doubling so by putting the value of nt in the formula we will get 2n0 equal to n0 e to the power rt now e to the power rt equal to 2 and by taking the logarithm on both the side what will you get rt equal to ln 2 so the t equal to ln 2 divided by r option b is the correct option for this question okay the next question is if gypsy moth 
एग डेंसिटी इज वन सिक्सटी एच टाइम टी ओके एट टाइम टी टी इक्वल टू वन सिक्सटी एंड टू हंड्रेड एट टी प्लस वन इन द नेक्स्ट जेनरेशन वट विल बी द पॉपुलेशन द पॉपुलेशन इज टू हंड्रेड वट विल बी इज वैल्यू एट टाइम टी प्लस थ्री ओके लाइक इट्स आस्किंग अबाउट द पॉपुलेशन साइज एट थर्ड जेनरेशन एजिमिंग दैट एग डेंसिटी कॉन्टिन्यूज टू इनक्रीज एट ए कॉन्स्टांट रेट कॉन्स्टांट रेट ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग दैट इज द एक्सपोनशियल ग्रोथ ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन सो दिस इज द फॉर द पीरियडिक ब्रीडर्स ओके सो द फॉर इज द फॉर्मुला लाइक लाइक जीमेट्रिक एक्सपोनशियल ग्रोथ रेट इट इज द एन टी प्लस वन इक्वल टू आर जीरो एन टी सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आर जीरो बिकॉज इन द क्वेश्चन द एन टी एंड एन टी प्लस वन इज ऑलरेडी गिवेन सो आर जीरो इक्वल टू एन टी प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई एन टी एन टी प्लस वन इज द टू हंड्रेड एंड एन टी इज वन सिक्सटी सो वी गॉट आर जीरो इज वन पॉइंट टू फाइव नाउ वील कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू एट द फर्स्ट जेनरेशन एन टी प्लस वन इक्वल टू आर जीरो वट वी गॉट वी गॉट वन पॉइंट टू फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एन टी एन टी इज द वन सिक्सटी सो इट्स टू हंड्रेड already the value of nt plus 1 is 200 is given in the question now we will calculate the population size at generation 2 so for the generation 2 nt plus 2 equal to r0 r0 is 1.25 multiplied by nt now the nt is 200 so by multiplying 1.25 with 200 we got 250 at second generation but the question is about third generation So for the third generation, similarly the R zero is one point two five, but now the NT value is two hundred fifty. So by multiplying two hundred fifty with the R zero value one point two five, we got three hundred twelve point five. Okay. So the correct answer is three hundred twelve. That is option C. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video and found it useful, then please share and subscribe. Bye bye. Oh, oh, oh.